welcome back to Wandering Art. Um, today I'm going to show you my sneak peek before we get started with the video. I am super excited about this. This is um, going to turn into like four projects. I'm thinking like um, a geode, a cool resin pour, and maybe a table. My mother-in-law just brought this over for me and the videos won't be out for a little while because as some of you guys probably know by now, I'm pregnant and I have about three weeks so um, my goal is to get this cut up into the different sizes that I want and then once he's here I can start working with resin more and I don't have to worry so much about um, smell or fumes for me you know and for him so i um, super excited and I really wanted to show you guys this so let me turn my camera around here yeah it's not gonna I just started a new video to turn my camera around, but this is it. It's beautiful. I don't have any great light because it's just like sitting in my back room here, but it's super smooth. I'm pretty sure he already prepped it with something. I'm sure I will prep it again, and I'm not sure what type of wood it is. I will have to ask my mother-in-law, but I will definitely know by the time I do the projects. It's really thick. And it's about six feet long. I'm super excited. Where's my pro marine? I'm super excited to do a project with it, you guys. So let's get right into the video, but stay tuned for this. It is going to be awesome. So today's video is all about techniques for beach pours or ocean pours. At the end of this video, there are pictures of three more pours that I did with this exact technique. The one I'm making now, I don't have any good pictures of because it sold before I could get any. I had a show and I made this one specifically for the show. So for beach pours, I always start by painting a base coat in acrylic paint on my canvas. Then I usually pick two to three ocean colors and my sand colors. You'll see the ones at the end, they all have just different blues and different sand colors. I kind of like to experiment to see what is my favorite and just to get different looks. So my shells, last time I was in California, I bought a huge bag of shells from a gift store. I'm sure you can find them online though, and I've also seen bags of shells at craft stores like Michael's as well. For some of these pours, I used art resin and some I used pro marine resin. First, I pour my base colors, and then I pour clear where I'm going to put the white, and this helps the white to sit on top of the resin that I already poured instead of mixing in with the other colors. And I use a blow dryer to get my wave effects. Usually I don't use a blow dryer too much for resin because it can just push it around way too much. But I really like how it creates waves and it creates um, movement with the white in the waves. On this pour um, specifically, I had mixed all my colors and poured them down, but I didn't use enough tint, enough paint in the colors, so that is why I go back in with deeper colors and a deeper white, because I just wanted um, more color in the, in the pour. I usually let my resin sit for about 30 minutes before I add the shells. I like to let the resin move where it's going to move and I don't want to put the shells in and then have them move where I don't want them to move. I like to put my shells um, on the bottom of the pour but also I like to put them up in where the white is um, when it moves down a little because it looks like the waves are kind of crashing over the shells and that is one of my favorite looks for this technique. You'll see that with some of the pours at the end. And um, that is all. Make sure that you always use a torch or a heat gun to pop all the bubbles in your resin. 
Usually I do it right after I do the pour and then I'll come back and check it in about 10 or 15 minutes and if I see more bubbles, I will go over it again to get out any extra bubbles. Let me know what you guys think of the piece. I really love doing these ocean pours and I'm hoping to do a larger one maybe on um, a piece of my wood that I showed you at the beginning. That would be cool. And also, um, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below and I will answer any questions that you have. If you're interested in seeing more of my work or purchasing any of my art, you can find me on Instagram or on Facebook. The links will be in the description below and they are also on the last slide of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned to see the awesome videos for my wood piece. And make sure you hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button. And I will catch you all later.